Hello Planeswalkers, Andrew here bringing you a new deck tech on Parnese the Subtle Brush, a Grixis commander from New Capenna. Uh, she is a 4-4 vampire wizard for 2 in the full Grixis. It says whenever you or a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless that player pays 4 life. Whenever you copy a spell, up to one target opponent may also copy that spell. They may choose new targets for the copy. So this basically gives all of gives yourself and all of your permanents um, ward of pay for life, essentially, just without the keyword. Uh, also, as a side note, apologies if you hear my cat at all. Uh, I had to close him in here so that I could get the room to be quieter, and uh, he's not the biggest fan of that. But uh, it'll be fine. Anyways, um, I, the original idea for this deck was to make it a sort of group hug deck. Um, to allow your opponents to copy your spells. Uh, however, it kind of changed over the deck building process into a spell slinger deck, primarily. So uh, it's not very group hug as originally intended. Um, that being said, the point is to draw through your deck, casting spells along the way to build up a storm count and win with Grape Shot or some other Storm spell. So, speaking of, we have Grape Shot, which is just Storm. It deals one damage to any target. Uh, storm says, whenever you cast this spell, copy it for each other spell cast this turn. So the point of the deck is cast spells to draw you more cards, to cast more spells, to draw more cards, to Storm off for a real high value. Um, so first off, we have some ways of making our instants and sorceries cheaper, since we're going to be using primarily instants and sorceries. Those being uh, such as Nightscape Familiar, which is a zombie that makes your blue and red spells one less to cast. Goblin Electromancer, which makes your instants and sorceries one cheaper. Um, we have a bunch of ways of copying spells, um, such as Creative Technique which has Demonstrate, which says when you cast a spell, you may copy it. If you do, choose an opponent to also copy it. And since you're also copying it, an another opponent gets to copy it as well. So you're casting it twice, essentially, and your opponents get to use it twice. So that was kind of leaning a little more into the uh, group hug aspect. Demonstrate's great for that. Um, Arcane Bombardment says whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your grave, then copy each card exiled with Arcane Bombardment. You may cast any number of the copies without paying their mana costs. Um, I'm not sure if this counts as copying the spell for Pernice's ability. I think it should, because she just says whenever you copy a spell, an Arcane Bombardment says copy each card exiled with it and you may cast them so if it stands to reason that it should work uh, other ways involve uh, include thousand year storm whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell copy it for each other instant sorcery spell you've cast this turn uh, you may choose new targets for the copies it basically gives you all of your instants and sorceries storm except that it's only spells that you've cast, whereas Actual Storm takes into account every spell that anyone has cast this turn. We've also got uh, Veyron, Voice of Duality, which has who has Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, uh, Veyron gets plus one plus one until end of turn, and if you casting or copying an instant or sorcery spell causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So this basically means if you have any like Magecraft triggers, including the one on Veyron, they will trigger twice. Um, speaking of those, we have Storm Kiln Artist, who gets plus one plus zero oh for each artifact you control, and whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, you make a treasure token. Uh, this is a great card for um, Storm cards, because you have Storm Kiln Artist out, you play a Storm spell, and you copy that spell Sev ideally several times, and you make a treasure for each cast, um, or each copy, and that fuels additional casts after that. Um, we also have draw effects for when you cast and copy spells, such as Archmage uh, Emeritus, whenever you cast a or copy an instant or sorcery draw card. We have niv Perun. Perun. Um, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. 
which is, these are the ways that you really want to use to draw through your deck. Uh, we also have um, Wandering Archaic, which says whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery, they may pay two, and if they don't, you may copy that spell. So you get to copy an opponent's spell, and since that triggers Parnis, um, I whenever yeah, it just says whenever you copy a spell, so it doesn't have to be your spell. Since you're copying an opponent's spell, then someone else gets to copy it as well. We've got Profane Tutor, which is a cheap tutor, which will let you search up, um, ideally Grape Shot for a Storm uh, win. Let's see, we've got Mirror Sheen, which is another way of copying instants and sorceries. It's an enchantment that lets you pay three into it to copy an instant sorcery spell that targets you, so you can copy effects that uh, an opponent's aiming at you. Um, Incarnation Technique is another demonstrate spell. Um, you mill five cards and then return a creature card from your grave to the battlefield. And we also have an infinite mana combo in Grand Architect and Peely Pala. So basically, um, Peely Pala is a 1-1 artifact scarecrow that has flying and two and untap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Grand Architect says other blue creatures you control get plus one plus one. Target artifact creature becomes blue until end of turn for one blue. And tap an untapped blue creature you control, add double colorless. Spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or to, uh, uh, bleh, or to activate abilities of artifacts. So, that's right. So you use Grand Architect's ability to uh, turn Peely Pala into a blue creature, and then you tap Peely Pala using Grand Architect to generate two colorless. You pay that two colorless into Peely Pala to untap it, and generate a mana of any color, and then you just keep doing that by tapping it with Grand Architect to generate the two colorless. On tap Peely Pala, you generate one mana of any color every time. So that will get you infinite mana, and you can do that every turn at instant speed, as long as you have at least one blue mana to turn Peely Pala into a blue creature until end of turn. And this will let you storm off pretty easily Assuming you have uh, Archmage, Emeritus, or Nymphs at Perun, or some other really good draw engine out, where you can just keep casting spells because you have infinite mana, and you keep drawing new spells, you build up your storm count really high, and then you just zot your opponents for tons of mana, or tons of damage. Now we also have Harmonic Prodigy, which has prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn. And if an ability of a shaman or another wizard you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. So it's not the same as Varen's doubling effect, but it will double the triggers of your wizards, which there are quite a few in here. niv is a wizard, Ele Goblin Electromancer is a wizard, Archma or Archmage Emeritus is a wizard. Um, there are plenty of wizards in the deck to take advantage of that, uh, including the commander. Um, so yeah. That is the basic premise of the deck. Um, like I said, it was meant to be group hug. Uh, I wish I had stuck to that a little bit more, but I still think this is a fun deck. Uh, if you just tweak it a little bit. Um, I actually haven't tried it uh, myself yet. I just brewed it, because I really enjoy brewing decks, if you couldn't tell. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps us out a lot and lets us know that you want to see more. And with that, as always, have a great day, y'all.